What's up, comic fam, comic fans? And it's time for the preview show. It's time to look at all the comics coming out this week. All right, dropping 118 for DC and 119 for Marvel and all the other indie publishers. Image, Aftershock, Blaze, Boom Studios, Dark Horse, all of them, Scout Comics. And we're going to get into all of those books right after this. Spartans, what is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Go ahead and throw me a thumbs up if you like the content. Comment down below. Share this if you think somebody needs to know about the books coming out this week. Anyway, we're going to get into the spec books first. All right. We got Catwoman. Number 39, she's wearing those red bottoms. I normally, you know, wouldn't talk about something like this, but Catwoman going on the cover, pretending to be a stripper, wearing red bottom shoes, A cover, Teeny Howard the writer, Jordi Belair the colorist. Like, all right gotta get it all right this is just it's just a must get I, I don't know how to say this any other way people are gonna go gaga over this issue so if you're speculating on a book or just need a book for your cover uh for your collection that you think a bunch of people are gonna get here you go batwoman 39 all right like there's no reason not to get this one all right with that said, we also got Catwoman 39, the 1 in 25, Souza Micah cardstock variant. All right. Um, it's a 1 in 25, right? If you want to pay ratio 25. Right now, going on eBay for 60 bucks and above. I can't really explain why, but it is. All right. Maybe it's because in this issue. She's an underground pole dancer. I don't know. But going for 60 bucks. So if you can find it for ratio lower. I mean if you want to pay 60 to get it, go ahead, pay that. But if you can find it for ratio or lower, this is an investment that will probably double your money at the minimum. Alright, so worth it. A get I think the one in 25 is more of a quick flip I think the a cover is a long-term hold all right that is my opinion on that let's get rid let's get rid let's get into we're not ready for the new comics let's get into the other comics on the list guys I have so many comics usually I try to do it three to four today I have eight because you have Hulk number three and we know nobody creates hype more than Donny Cates, okay? So you've got Hulk. You've got Hulk number three, which is, you know, part of a new story. You got Don, Donny Cates. You got Ryan Otley doing the pencils in the cover of, you know, all sorts of fame is Ryan Otley. If you uh, have seen his show on Prime, you probably know what I'm talking about. Invincible. That's Ryan Otley right there. Okay. Um, shoot. A couple of reasons. There were a lot of reasons to get it. You got Wolverine Hulk on the cover, right? That's that's a pretty good duo for spec books. But also you got the first cameo appearance of a new villain referred to as a uh, hoax version of Null. This comes from Donny Cates' Twitter. So, you know, he, he's, he's known for making these big baddies and then doing kind of an event or something along those lines and hyping his character. Also, things are known to fizzle, all right? So, you know, for um, every Dylan Brock, Right, we get the uh, 
the Venom 25, which ends up, you know, just being a uh, scorpion in disguise, right? So you take the good with the bad with uh, Donny Cates, and you know, sometimes you hit, sometimes you don't, but. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Uh, don't, I wouldn't, I guess what I'm trying to say is, yes, uh, invest in this book. Don't go Google Gaga thinking like this is going to make you rich and all be all. I'm going to walk away with, you know, a million bucks from this, right? Because for every Dylan Brock he gives us, he gives us a virus. All right. So. Don't go crazy on this book. All right. We wasted enough time on Hulk number three. Let's go to the next book, which is Moon Knight number seven, the Raza variant. I can't tell you more about Moon Knight number seven, except that there may be a first appearance in it. It's a Raza cover, and this is the B cover, and it's going on eBay for over 20 bucks already, right? So we're looking at a book that's possibly going for over 30 bucks, and apparently there's a new villain in this, uh, something, not Moon Knight, but something with the moon, and uh, people are going to go gaga over it, and in particular, the B cover, and I don't think there's an incentive variant. So it's either the A or the B cover, and people are digging the B cover right now. So the B cover is going well above a uh, cup of price, all right? Next up on the list, you know what? Before we go there, let's just take a quick look at the cover. Boom, that's the Raza variant. Ah, that's pretty dope, all right? Look at the shadow he gets off, looks like Moon Knight. All right, uh, and then we'll just quickly read the synopsis. How do you fight someone that knows? How do you fight someone that no one knows? Moon Knight is out for blood and hits the streets armed only with a name, but he soon finds out that that in the twilight half world of New York City super villainy, sometimes the streets hit back. And while he's fighting his way through the super crime underworld, he better watch his back. All right. And uh, what have we got characters here? What do we see we see Mr. Knight, we see Moon Knight, we see Bulldozer, we see Electro, we see Wrecker. And we'll see if that new character that I've heard rumblings of will actually appear. All right. Let's keep the ball rolling because we still got four more comic books to go to. We got Nightwing number 88. The deal with Nightwing number 88 is simple. He's got a new Nightwing suit. That's pretty much it. So there's the 88 cover, just Nightwing on the cover. There is a 1 in 25 cardstock design variant. All right. And that kind of, you know, shows shows the in and outs of the Nightwing suit. And uh, I guess it's a B cover. It's going to be a Jamal Campbell variant. All right. Looks like Nightwing's about to get a little lucky. We're all on out to the sun. We're all on out to get lucky. All right. Next up, we got Strange Academy number 15. That is the first appearance of Gas Lamp. Okay. Looks like a pretty interesting character. I dig this. Strange Academy has been a spec book since day one with issue one. So it seems like people are literally just collecting this for spec purposes. But you got the first appearance of Gas Lamp. You got the first cover of Gas Lamp. Uh, 14 should have been the first cameo. But there you go. Gas Lamp with Strange Academy number 15. Next up, this might be the first time, correct me if I'm wrong, for anybody who's seen all my uh, 
new you know comic book day preview videos but we have teenage mutant ninja turtles number 125 so we got the first time i think i've put a teenage mutant ninja turtles comic on the list all right but we have the teenage mutant punk frogs so we're gonna have a first appearance here of these uh like battle frogs really um whether they become a big part of the series or not, these punk frogs are uh, going to be part of the mainstream universe. If they continue on in the universe, this this could be something that uh, turns into something bigger. Who knows? What's up with these frogs? So anyway, that is the book. And then you've got a Kevin Eastman variant, which is also pretty cool. So we'll see what happens with these frogs, but these frogs could be, you know, something bigger. If I had to cut books down to just get down to like, you know, four or five books, that probably better would have been one of the books cut. Maybe the Catwoman 39 or the Nightwing would have been another book cut. Strange Academy is definitely going to be on this list. Catwoman number 39, A cover. Moon Knight were definitely going to be on this list. Ah. Uh, Probably Catwoman, number 39. Both the A and 125 are going to be this. Let's get to the last book. That's Venom number four. All right. And what's the deal with Venom number four? Well, cool cover. There's also a John Boy Mayer cover, right? And that's cool. But we have the first appearance of Carson, who was kind of a hero, kind of a villain. Uh, gonna end up as Spearhead. All right, we got the second cameo appearance of Bedlam, who's gonna be revealed to be Meridius, a Meridius. Wow, way to read that correctly, Meridius. And there's a debut, 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 like a debutante, debut of the new Venom emblem or logo, if you will. All right, so Rom V, Brian Hitch listed on this one. And lots of people working on this. Lots of covers for this. Uh, there is a, a variant that's very reminiscent of ASM 300. So that might be worth checking out. All right, here's the John Boy Myers variant also pretty cool all right let's see what other variants do we have got this one with miles on it okay and they're doing some miles variants so that's cool and the main cover itself is actually pretty cool all right that's uh brian hitch again but with you know it's it's a Venom book with some first, second appearances. Definitely worth a spec. That is a lot of time guys spent on spec. I don't like to spend that much time there, but here we are. Here we did. Here we came. Here we saw. A lot of spec stuff. Let's move on to the new releases this week, all right? Let's get right into them. Let's get through them. Let's take some time and let's talk about it. All right, we got... Image Comics, if you're Image Comics trying to get the number ones, Aerosmith number one is coming out, okay? Lots of covers, so lots of things behind it, but not to be under, undersold or, you know, undone. Bolero number one, okay? And there are a lot of uh, covers for that one. Not as many, only three. Aerosmith apparently is the bigger book with five. Uh, what else you got? Got some other stuff. Excellence number 12 is out. People like that. Homesick Pilots number 11. Homesick Pilots finally comes back. That should be cool. King Spawn has number 6. Alright. Lady Mechanica for you Lady Mechanica fans. And Primordial number 5 of 6 is out. So that series is moving right along. Righteous Thirst for Vengeance is on issue number 4. And Silver Coin is on issue number 8. Alright. Walking Dead continues on with number 31. Four covers for that. Walking Dead in cover color. Dark Horse. Uh, you got Cloaked 
number two. All right, it's a, a Minecraft book in The Last of Us Part Two. No cover listed for that one. Canto number three, Lionhearted number five of six. Thank you for bringing that out. And then you got, you know, the rest of the books, G.I. Joe, Transformers, My Little Pony, Sonic, Star Wars Adventure, Star Wars High Republic. You got that TMNT ongoing. All right, with Sophie Campbell on the cover with the Punk Frogs, the Eastman variant. Okay, more Transformers, Usagi Ojimbo, and Transformers Back to the Future. DC Comics, the only list of Mr. Miracle trade. That is not correct. So, let's go to our friends at the League of Comic Geeks to figure out what the rest of the comics are. Batman Detective, which has gone weekly, which is crazy. All right. At that price tag, $5. That's insane. But anyway, here we are, faced with the decision whether to continue to buy it or not. Most people will. I will. So can I complain about it? Yes. But will my complaints be heard? Not really. Unless a bunch of people decided not to buy it. Nightwing. Number 88. We got that new Nightwing costume. Okay. What else do we got? We got Superman Son of Kal-El number 7. I've liked that series. I've only read the first five issues, but I've liked it so far. Catwoman number 39 with those red bottoms. Okay, guys. We know a lot of people are going to buy this. Let's not deny it. It is a spec book. Robin number 3. That looks like a fun book. Look at the cover. All right, the cover. Well, it looks like a fun cover. Batman, the Knights, number one. We got a Batman origin book coming out, okay? And that, I'm going to click on it because that is written by our man Chip Zdarsky, who is an excellent writer, okay? There's a couple of, uh, as you can see, a couple of variant covers. Eh, I think cover A is the best cover. And um, yeah, Chip Zdarsky, when he writes a book, usually pretty good all right what else we can uh, we just got a bunch of other stuff guys all right just keep the party going and those are the rest of your DC books all right let's get into Marvel and what do we have for Marvel we got amazing spider-man number 86 all right with the beyond series hate it love it it is what it is all right you got avengers number 52 you know uh i heard rumors that something might happen in avengers not quite sure uh if anything actually will happen in avengers but you know ask your uh local comic shop i don't think it's anything big um it might have something to do with star brand and uh shelby brandy shelby appearing as an adult but yeah something there's something attached to it. ben riley spider-man number one if you like ben riley here you go he's going to be in his own little mini series uh five issues long Uh, what do we got? We got Black Panther number one, the second print sketch, Alex Ross sketch. Alex Ross sketch uh, work is is great. I mean, look at that. So if you like Alex Ross, this might be an opportunity for you to grab something Alex Ross that you might like. All right. Uh, Death of Doctor Strange, X Men Black Knight number one. I might just skip on that, even though I do love the Death of Doctor Strange books. They seem to have expanded way further than I want them to expand to. Devil's Reign, Villains for Hire, number one. Uh, the Thunderbolts are back. That should be a pretty cool book. And then you got Devil's Reign, X-Men, number one of three. Meh. I don't know how I feel about that. Eternals number nine is out. What else? We got uh, Hulk number one, a second printing wraparound variant. And Hulk number three is out with some really cool covers, all right? Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 34 has a pretty cool cover. Moon Knight number seven seems to be a book that speculators are talking about. And 
the Raza variant cover B is the one that seems to be uh, the hot one, the one everybody wants. You got She-Hulk coming out with number one. I'm going to grab that. Savage Avengers number 28 is listed. I got that book last week. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was supposed to be delayed. Anyway, I got it. Love Savage Avengers. It is an excellent ending to the series. 28 is the last issue in the series. All right, Silk number one. It feels like we get a Silk number one every two to three months. All right, but here's another Silk series. Silver Surfer has a series where he's working with Thanos. I guess pick it up if you want to find out why he's working with Thanos. Dr. Aphra continues on. She's heating up in the comic world. Star Wars High Republic number 13 is out. I love the High Republic uh, story right now up to this point. Strange Academy number 15. First appearance of Gaslamp. That's like a $20 book right now on eBay. Um, what else we got Venom number one second printing but we also got Venom number four with lots of cool variants including the John Boy Meyer variant right and we've got that ASM 300 variant let's keep the party going we're already at 20 minutes and we're way in you got a lot of X-Men and Wolverine, right? Dynamite. Lots of heroines coming out of here. We got James Bonds. We're going to speed this up just a little bit, guys. We got Kiss. Kiss is in there. And then all your other books. If you're a Dynamite fan, Vampirella, Red Sonia. Let's go. We're at Boom Studios. Mo I heard, is actually pretty intense. I have not read it, but it's at 5 of 5. So maybe I will pick up... The trade of that you got some power rangers in there oswald's body number three of five as you can see i'm subscribed i'm gonna grab that and you got seven secrets which was really good um i just have a lot to catch up on we only find them when they're dead continues with number 10 how ewing writing that all right and then you got the rest of the books coming out this week animal castle number two is out number one you can't find a number one for under like 10 bucks or so you know if you get on ebay with shipping it's gonna be like 15. if stores under ordered on animal castle number two these books could also pop but it looks like something that might be worth uh getting and reading all right and we're just gonna keep going until we find something where i find something that interests me obviously any of these books can interest you doesn't matter different strokes different tastes for everybody all right look you can order an amazing spider-man number 75 uh gleason variant for 75 bucks cg seed all right or you can get the berserker number one cgc graded for 90 bucks look like there was two books there don't know what i pressed but we're gonna go back here uh, obviously I hit on that dynamic forces Doctor Strange all right and that's uh, Ken Hazer he does a lot of dynamic forces covers all right so you can see there's a whole bunch of books that you can get signed or CGC a lot of people don't know that you can just literally order the books through them uh probably a little bit more expensive than doing it yourself but then you need like a cgc subscription or you need to do it through another you know cgc facilitator so it might just be easier to just order it through previews through your local comic shop up to you up to you all right lots of books still coming out we're in the m's we're about halfway there let's try to get this done out number four is out if there's you like monsters and zombies and uh nazis yep i said that all right we're almost at the end guys thank you for joining me don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell go ahead and throw me a thumbs up and comment down below here are all the books for this week 
Comic fam, comic fans, do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to get ready for this week's books, all right? Peace!